So earlier in uh, maintenance, we've told uh, Lightrite about these different color frame labels, but we haven't told it yet um, what size these color frames are. In order to do that, we go into maintenance, color frame, where we get a list of the ones that we've um, added previously. So now we need to give them some sizes. So source for juniors are 190 millimeters by 190. If you only put one dimension in, it will assume that you are in fact talking about a circle. Um, that really only happens on uh, follow spots and a few other rarities really. Um, usually you have square uh, or rectangular uh, color frames. So um, this now works out frames per sheet according to a default sheet size down here. We'll come to that in a minute. Um, par 64 is 250 and again it's not a circle and uh, an acclaim is 125. Okay so these are the only three frames we have here at the moment. Now the default sheet size um, we can now decide whether that is a Roscoe sheet, a Lee sheet, a camp sheet. Um, I guess I'm gonna use a Lee since that is mostly what I use. Um, so that's 1220 by, don't know what I've done here, I seem to have done something a bit wrong. Okay, 1220 by 530. Okay, that's my default sheet size, but of course, in reality, I have different colors and different sheet sizes. Lightroom didn't used to be able to work that out, but it can now. So if I close this, I can go into my uh, maintenance color where I have my various colors. Now, as you can see here, I've got uh, sheet dimensions. Um, so I could go around for each individual color and say, well, this is the Lee, so it should be this, this is that, it should be that, but I don't want to do that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is sort them, and I'm going to just do um, alphabetize, which uh, is asking me, I'm not sure, yes, I am sure, um, which just sorts them alphabetically and therefore in a way by manufacturer because of the letters I'm using to denote the manufacturers. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tick keep alphabetized because if I add later um, any more colors into my drawing then um, I don't want them to just be added to the bottom. I want them to slot into where they belong. Um, the next thing I can do is define a family. So um, if I select all of my leaves, shift select all of my leaves and I click on define family, I'm going to call it Lee. This is now my Lee family and I can have a Lee standard dimension. Um, it's used the default here. Um, now all of these colors will use my standard uh, header dimension for their color call in spite of what it says in the individual ones. Um, so I'm going to do the same for Roscoe. Of course I only have one at the moment. Um, but for future proofing, I will put families in for each of these brands. Now, uh, GAM is actually 508 by 508 millimeters, uh, yes, by uh, GAM 609 millimeters. It's a rather odd one, yes. Maybe if I just do that here, I sort of change all of the subsections as well. That will make me happier. Uh, Roscoe sheets are 500 by 600, so they're similar to GAM, roughly half Lee. Okay, but now um, each of these colors will be counted correctly according to the sheet size they are on. Um, close. So now if I want to um, very quickly have a look at my color call so far, I can go to my utilities counting color. 
I will bring up my list. Now the order of colors here is um, again the same as the one in my maintenance window so it will keep alphabetized automatically because that's what I've ticked in my maintenance window. If I hadn't done that I would have another option here to um, sort things out. Um, so I will uh, count all of my worksheet items, um, a regular count, I'm not going to break it down um, and I want to count it as color cuts. I get different options um, how I want to uh, report this. So I can either report it to a report window, which is what I'm going to do now. I can report it straight to a printer, so um, yeah, send straight to the printer. I can put it in a clipboard, which creates a sort of uh, spreadsheet format, a tab delineated uh, spreadsheet format. So I can copy and paste that into something like Excel or a file. Um, so I can use that later on. Again, it's, uh, uh, it's a sort of spreadsheet format. There are layout options. I can watermark things. There are some pre-made watermarks. I can make my own as well. So there's like draft, uh, you know, sometimes that might be quite useful. Um, I can limit it to certain sections of um, my worksheet. Um, and do I want to, I want to show the color swatches, why not? And I press OK to create this window. I think the color swatches actually only come up in the actual paperwork. Now, this is a lovely noise, a, a file save reminder. This is um, probably quite a useful thing to keep on. Um, you can turn that on or off in the preferences. But it reminds us to every now and again uh, press save and save our file because I just pressed saved my counting window has disappeared so I'm just going to bring that up again and um, let's have a look at my color count here we are so now I have my color count gam g410 junior size one cut lee and then all of the Lee colors under the Lee heading, the different sizes in different colors. Um, so I can send that, I can copy and paste that, I could send it to a printer, I can send it, put it in an email to uh, the team to get the color cut. 